Hey everyone, at long last I'm finally talking about the finale series of Peep Show. I was going to do this video a couple of weeks ago and then I didn't. I'm an awful person, I know, I'm sorry. Right, normally I edit up these videos and kind of make them a bit more structured, but I'm just going to talk at you for this video because my thoughts about this series are quite scattered, but mostly positive. So I think the best place to start is with Mark and Jeremy as characters. And I think we have, this video will contain spoilers by the way, it won't be spoiler free. I think we have a little bit of role reversal with Mark and Jeremy. At the core we do have their, their, their basic qualities that we know and love. Mark is still uh, uptight and Jeremy isn't. But we kind of see a bit of Mark being a bit more neurotic and a bit more... Uh, his priorities aren't perfect anyway, we'll put it that way. Whereas Jeremy seems to be really t like kind of sorting himself out. You know, he's, he's doing his counselling and he's being a little bit more open and the whole gay thing and the I want to say three-way affair, triple affair, it, it's a tangled web of sex what's, what he's got himself into there with that couple. That really surprised me and I didn't think, you know, I think maybe in series one or two Jeremy would have been maybe not anti-gay but just not open to exploring himself in that way unless he was high on something. So I was really touched by that and I'm really impressed with the way that character has developed over the few years that the show has been away. Whereas Mark I think remained quite static but also kind of backtracked a little. So in terms of character development I'm fairly impressed. Of course the main thing with this is the story and we do have most of the characters that we love back in this. Um, Super Hans obviously has returned and Again with his character, I think he's stepping up in the world and he's still basically the same guy but just a little bit more mature and I really like that and I think the show really needed a, a bit of progression into adulthood. <laughs> right, um, Dobby. Dobby I was getting a bit fed up of towards the final episode of the previous series um, but seeing her back was great. Uh, I adore Izzy Suti as an actress and the fact that the character was only briefly and it really worked really well for me. Um, so that was good. April, April to me was never a prominent character. She was briefly in it. She was just a, a little thing, a little fascination Mark had. So the fact that she played such a prominent role in this series was quite a surprise to me. I think it brought out the worst of Mark's character, but in a good way for TV viewing. You know, it made entertaining TV viewing, but perhaps not showed Mark in the best light. Which again, when we put that next to Jeremy's new and improved personality, it's, it, it really heightens that kind of personality reversal we have going on there. So April I could put up with, she was fine. It kind of also gave us a more solid conclusion to the series because we were working towards something rather than just a selection of random funny episodes. But for me, the main attraction and the main excitement came with Sophie. Oh, I mean, Olivia Coleman is one of my favourite people in all the world and I love her. And the fact that this character has really reached the end of her limit, you know, she's drunk, she's unstable, she's probably an unfit mother in many ways, in terms of at least what we see. Um, not really caring about her child that much as far as it seems, but the moment when she slid into that pit of balls and just lay there, I thought she was fantastic and I wish more than anything she was in it more. If we could switch the amount of time April had and the amount of time Sophie had, that would have been perfect. But I thoroughly enjoyed seeing her back and I remember somebody on Twitter um, shared a picture, uh, I think it was one of the writers or producers or something, shared a picture uh, of uh, David Mitchell, Robert Webb and Olivia Coleman and said, saying it was Olivia Coleman's last day on set. I had no idea she was coming back, that was like the best day of my life. Um, might be exaggerating slightly. But I thoroughly enjoyed seeing her back and if we could just have the Sophie Chapman show, I mean that would be brilliant. And also we had Johnson back as well, kind of briefly. So really, it was like the show had never ended and I'm devastated that it's now officially over. Um, maybe in 10 years time we'll bring it back. I know they say no, but well, maybe, maybe Mark's child, Mark and Sophie's child can have his own peep show. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you did see the final series, please let me know what you thought about it. I would love to talk with you about it more, you know, comment as much as you like and I will reply as much as I can because Peep Show is just one of my greatest loves, Sophie is one of my greatest loves and I'm just, I'm so sad it's over but it was completely worth it. Um, it was fine, it was perfect, you know, there wasn't anything I would change about it apart from, as I said, 
Sophie and April maybe switching positions. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Peep Show. Any suggestions for other videos, let me know. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.